Okay, so when we're looking at clean sign and um, a sign issue, um, what we have to be careful of are right angle triangles. So um, what we're looking at here is our goal to find the sign ratio to um, right angles or right angle triangles and right triangles that are shown in an unknown side, right? So if we um, were to have our papers, we would um, identify the square axis to measure um, using a ruler. And when I take the measurement of this here, the opposite sign is 6 meters. Now, how do we know it's the opposite of our 6 centimeter side? It's the opposite side. No, it's centimeters. I measured it with my ruler, so I'm telling you what it is. <laughs> so, but how do we know it's the opposite side? Well, it's because it's opposite the given angle. So that's what opposite means. Opposite the given angle. Okay. Um, and then the hypotenuse is always opposite the right angle. The right angle or the 90 degree angle. 90 degree angle. Okay, so whenever we're working on this right angle triangles and looking at these two ratios, we're going to go for ratio. We want to make sure we identify all the sides, what they all are. So right now, um, the sides that we're looking at are the opposite and the hypotenuse because when it comes to sine ratio, those are the, um, the sides that we will be using. Uh, so the other measure that I have done, um, you're able to print this and we get the same measurement. So the opposite side is measured at 6 centimeters because I measured it with my ruler. And the hypotenuse actually measures 12 centimeters. So we take our chart and we enter our information. We have 6 centimeters and 12 centimeters. So what we want to do here is calculate this ratio. So it would be opposite divided by hypotenuse. And the answer will be. This is actually one half, right? So it's both is one half. Exactly, yeah. Super. Um, so then we recorded that. So let's just take a quick peek. We have a 30 degree angle and we have a ratio of our opposite to our hypotenuse being one half on a 30 degree angle. Okay? So then we our next triangle and see what this gives us. So when we look at this triangle with my ruler, I measure the opposite to be 7 centimeters and the hypotenuse was 14 centimeters. And again, we have our angle, which eventually. Sorry? No, no, no. I used my ruler. I use my ruler to measure. See right here? See what A is telling us to do? Use a metric ruler to measure the length. I actually did the measure, is what I'm saying. Okay? So then I have 7 and 14. And when I calculate that, I end up again with 0 0.5. So in both triangles, you'll recognize that we have 30 degrees as our angle opposite the side. So what did we notice about the, the ratios between 1 and 2? Well, they were the same. Ratios are the same. So we have 6 divided by 12 and 7 divided by 14, which are equal because they both one half is 0.5. Right? And then when we're looking at our 
So this is the sine ratio. Okay, so the sine ratio is opposite divided by hypotenuse. Okay, um, so one thing I'm going to show is sine, opposite, and hypotenuse. Okay, so if we grabbed our calculator and get our technology review what sine 30 was, your calculator, so let's put a SIN button, we press that button, and then we press 30, and we do enter, and what's going to happen is we're going to get 0 0.5 as our sine 30, equals sine 30 degrees. Okay, so do you have your calculator right there with you? So uh, what we want to do is show me that, or prove to yourself that this works. So when you have a calculator available, or if you grab your calculator, pause the video, go grab your calculator, because you should have your calculator whenever you're doing that video, um, and punch this in. So you're going to look for the SIN number, and then you're going to press the C and the 0. And good morning to who has joined us. Not sure who we just joined us, but welcome. Um, so we just finished the basic in 2019, and we're moving on to the So now we're going to actually use this, um, what we've done so far, and um, look at how the sign ratio is used um, more and more these days. Say that again. Sorry, say that again. No, for what? For the sign? For sign, all you're doing is you're pressing SIN button. And then 3 and 0 and equal sign. What the answer, what your answer is. What do you get when you have sine 30? Yeah, so basically what we're showing here is that when we look at the ratio of the opposite over the hypotenuse, we have 7 divided by 14, on a triangle with, oops, with a 30 degree angle, point, um, opposite angle from the opposite side. Okay. So when we have 30 degrees opposite the opposite, our ratio will be half. That's all it's telling us. Okay? So let, let's look at some practice to see um, um, how this uh, affects um, what we're doing. Okay? So when we're looking at, so the information here is hypotenuse is the side opposite the right angle. Remember, that's what I was told you. So we've got this corner here. The hypotenuse is um, opposite the right angle. The angle that we're looking at, so here we're looking at angle A, and here is angle A, and opposite angle A is the opposite side. It's the height of the triangle. In this okay, so this, um, so whatever we're looking at angle A, this is angle A, this will be angle C, and this is angle D. Okay. So um, the longest side is the hypotenuse, the opposite side is across from the angle that we are looking at. We are considering. For an acute triangle, the right angle triangle, we're looking at a sine ratio when it will be opposite and the hypotenuse. Okay, so short form 
of the sine ratio of, of acute angle A, so the start angle A, so again, acute triangle. So not a triangle like this. It does not work for a triangle like that. It will not work for a triangle that has um, all sides, all angles the same. It will not work for this, and it will not work for this. So it will only work for a triangle with that corner. Okay? Um, so when we're looking, if this is our angle, this is the opposite side, and because this is the, this is the hypotenuse. Okay? So sine ratio, opposite over hypotenuse. So it's what we call that. Okay? So if we have the opposite, we have the hypotenuse, we're going to find A. Okay? If we have uh, so the, these are the three things that we need. So we need an angle, we need um, a length. Basically, we need two of those three in order to find the other. So let's um, do some practicing on how to calculate the sine of an angle first. So sine 60, so if we put sine 60 degrees, We get. And we're going to go to four decimal places. So we have 0 0.8660. That is what sine 60 is. Okay. And then sine, again, 45. Four decimal places to go into, so we start with the one. Okay, so I'm um, using sine ratios to find the opposite side. So whenever we're looking at um, these triangles, we want to label all the sides first. So F is equal to the opposite, and 10 is our hypotenuse. Okay, um, 40 is. So we're going to use the sine ratio for sine theta is equal to the opposite divided by hypotenuse, as it shows us above. Okay, so we're going to the nearest tenth. We've got to remember that we're going one decimal place for our final answer. So in order for us to find the opposite, we need to rearrange our formula here. So the opposites are unknown. Opposite is unknown. Therefore, multiply left and right side. So multiply hypotenuse. Multiply hypotenuse. Hypotenuse will go away. Opposite is left behind. So we have opposite left over here. And that is equal to the hypotenuse times sine theta. Now we're going to plug in our information. We're going to plug in what we know. Okay, so what do we know? We know that the hypotenuse is 10 and theta is 40 times sine 40. Okay. 
So then we take the spark calculator and punch in 10 times 10 40 and equal. So just because um, I haven't finalized my answer, finalized my answer. Yeah. so now I'm going to finalize my answer and say the length of the opposite side is six point four. Unit. Notice we have no unit, so we want to put a generic term in there called unit. And that's what I will always put forward. Okay? Uh, just so that you don't forget that when there are units, to actually put those units in. Okay, so far, hopefully this is making sense. Um, if not, pause and rewind. Otherwise, let's continue on with our examples here. So now we're going to look at a real life example where we are calculating, in this case, we are calculating the height of the um, term upper terminal compared to where the lower terminal starts. We are given, so what information are we given? We are given theta. This is equal to 64 degrees, and we're given the hypotenuse, which is the hypotenuse. So here's my right angle. There's my hypotenuse. Here is my angle, which is theta, and this is the opposite, exactly. So I have I can calculate sine theta, which is sine 24, and I have hypotenuse. So now I'm going to use, I said identify, I need that sine. Sine theta is equal to opposite. Over hypotenuse. After rearranging, rearranging my formula is going to be opposite equals hypotenuse times sine theta. Just remind you that we multiply both sides by the hypotenuse. Okay. And then I'm going to plug in my information. So I have 15 meters times sine 24. And I plug that into my computer in my calculator. I'm going to get 634 yes, the nearest meter so 634.51 so the of the upper terminal is 635 number of mules sitting right next door near meter so no decimal places meter higher than lower Okay. So hopefully that 
When the unknown is in the denominator, when the unknown is in the denominator, just pick. Left side of equal equal sign. with this denominator. And then you're like, what? That's confusing. Basically, you're doing this. <laughs> you're just switching the sine theta and the hypotenuse. I'm putting it generic because when we look into um, doing the cosine and the tangent ratio, the same thing is going to come up. Okay? So whenever um, our unknown is in the denominator, as with the hypotenuse here, we just switch the left side, the sine theta or whatever's on the left side of our um, equal sign, with the denominator. And that means our new equation. The formula is going to be hypotenuse is equal to the opposite divided by sine theta. Okay, so now we're going to plug in our information. And then we have our hypotenuse because it's our unknown. Put x there as well. I just try to keep the terms so that I don't forget what I'm doing. Um, and opposite is 20, and sine theta is sine 50, or theta is 50, so theta is 50, and now opposite as from the triangle. You don't need to list your information, just make sure you label your triangle. If you're not going to label the triangle, make sure you use the information, the information is to follow through. Okay, so then we take our calculator, take 20, divide it by sin 50, 
the way I'm speaking it is going to be punched into your calculator, and then you do equals. End up with 26.1081. And now we look at how far we want to go with our answer. So our final answer, therefore, the hypotenuse is 26.1. Okay, so the nearest tenth because the one doesn't say. Okay. Any questions at this time? Okay. If asking any other questions, any questions at this time? Okay. So uh, just a reminder to those who to the video. Um, we will be meeting today at um, two o'clock instead of one o'clock, as I have another uh, session at one o'clock. Nope, if you have any questions, it is not mandatory. Just tell me if you have questions. Um, it's probably more for those who are just watching the video instead of partaking in the video. Okay. Awesome. Okay, so. Perfect. That's exactly what they're here for. All right. So now we're looking at somebody seeing down a slope. How long is that slope? So if the slope has an angle, so this angle is going up, so just 15 degrees. We look over here, this is our opposite side, and x is our hypotenuse. We know because being close to you is the sine ratio. But also because we have the opposite, and we're being asked for the hypotenuse and the given theta. So that's why we know to do sine. Again, our so sine is equal to the opposite divided by hypotenuse. And so is the best call. Now our hypotenuse is our question mark, so. We are going to switch to our switch system. Switch these two positions so that hypotenuse is now on the left. Opposite does not change position. And sine theta moves in the denominator. Let us plug in our information. Hypotenuse equal to 325 divided by sine 15. Punch that in our calculator again. 325 divided by sin or sine 15. And that's a 1255.703. Oops, forgot to look and see where we're headed to this. Telling us of a meter. So our final statement says tenth of a meter. We run length is twelve hundred fifty five point seven meters. Now, when it comes to calculating sine, the unit, whatever the units are, the units are. Okay? You don't need to, um, you don't need to uh, be worried about, like, they have to be the same measure, like, both meters, both centimeters, both inches, but it, it doesn't, it's not always going to be imperial or metric. It could be imperial as well. So, um, that's, that's something that you don't really need to be worried about because what you start with, hopefully you will end with as long as everything is consistent. Oh, here's that magic thing again. 
Okay, so remember what I was saying about finding the hypotenuse. When it comes to your study sheet, this is where you should add that hypotenuse is equal to opposite divided by sine. This is where you put all those different and then um, opposite is equal to hypotenuse times sine. Okay. So you have to make sure you get all the information. So this is the kind of thing that you would add to the study and an example of how to use it. So this is, these are things that you have to um, make sure you are on top of. They will uh, be practice. So now you can pause the video and do the practice, which is a good thing. You should practice just to put the in your mind. Then you're looking at again an acute ang um, angle in H 
right triangle. So uh, again, we're looking at this situation, not this, because there's no right angle here, and not that, and not that. Okay? It has to be a right angle triangle. Um, so we're looking at our ratio. Um, the reason, and I didn't mention this before, but the reason behind um, having this coast divided by one is because of the cross multiply we are needed. So if we are trying to solve for the adjacent in this case, then we would multiply by the hypotenuse. The same kind of rearrangement that we do with sine, we would do with coast. Okay, so that's why that one is there. Um, but because I'm giving you those tricks, I think this just is helpful with respect to how to organize. And of course, this is that one thing, those rearranged formulas are also what we want to put on our study. Okay, so the acute angle that we were looking at was 30 degrees. So now we're going to press COS, cost or coast. Um, and then you punch in the angle, in this case again, our angle is 30 degrees, and then we press enter, and then we see, yep, 0 0.866, but to the nearest hundred, we're doing Nearest hundred is the first is two decimal places. Zero point eight seven. So it's pretty close. It's not exact. So, um, but you can see how the ratio is comparable, right? Um, because if we went to the nearest tenth, we would have 0.9 in both cases, right? So, um, very close to being the same. It would be better if it was identical, but it is what it is. And I'm wondering, I'm just going to do a quick um, check on something. Yeah, no, it is different so much. So very close, if we're going to the tenth, the nearest tenth, we would be bang one.
we are looking at cos. So, cosine is adjacent divided by hypotenuse. And this is our ka. So, so far we have so and ka. This is, this is um, a short form to remind us. So, when we hear shrink, we want to think Sokotoa. Um, so far, we know we have so and ka. So cosine of angle A. So angle A is equal to adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse. Okay? Here's another way of looking at it. So this is B and this is C. Uh, letters wise. So again, that is still both C A H as in ka. Now, cos of an angle, the cos of angle 18, press cos 1 H, and get 0 0.9511. Or decimal places, and then again, cos 54, cos 54. Again, for decimal places, 0 0.5878. Okay, again, just simply punch things into the calculator. Um, use nickel sign ratio to find the adjacent side. So we're looking for the adjacent side. So now, as always, we're going to label diagram. So X is A, B, J for short. Then 80 is B plus C for a button. And 25 is theta. So we're using cos theta equals adjacent divided by hypotenuse. And because we are finding adjacent, this is going to be easy. Rearranging, rearrangement, just like we did with sine, you multiply by the hypotenuse, and now adjacent is all by itself. Now we have adjacent is equal to hypotenuse times cos theta. Now, hypotenuse, I'm going to plug in our information now. Plug in the information, hypotenuse times cos 25. So we say 80 in our calculator. We multiply it by cos 25, enter, and our adjacent side length is 72. Five zero five. And that's the nearest tenth, which is one decimal place. And our final answer is adjacent. Oh, okay. Yes. So three point five units. Okay, we don't have any specific unit of measure, so we want to make sure to uh, just include units so that we're always looking for. It. Okay, example number three real life situation. What is the distance between the wall and the start of the wheelchair ramp? That's what the adjacent line is. So this is our adjacent. This is our hypotenuse. And this is our theta. So we're told to use the cos. Theta equals adjacent divided by hypotenuse. 
that after we rearrange, we end up with adjacent by itself equals hypotenuse times hypotenuse. That's because we multiplied by hypotenuse, multiplied by hypotenuse. This appears in adjacent by itself. And we're going to plug in our information. We have 18 feet times post 6 degrees. So our calculator, 18 times cross 6 equals 17.90. Tenth of a foot, one decimal place. So, that one. No, the recording just stopped. My recording just stopped. <laughs> this is not good. There's going to be two videos on um, annotate, and this is decided to be what it's doing. The video on YouTube will be just fine. Okay, so our final answer is for the um, how far the ramp is from the base of the building is uh, 17.9 feet. So therefore, the ramp is 17.9 feet. From the building. Okay. Hopefully that didn't mess things up too terribly. <laughs> okay, so example four. We are now finding the hypotenuse. So here's that that trick comes into play again. Okay, so we want to label the side. So here is the adjacent. Here is the hypotenuse, and seventy is our angle. So we chose to use cosine, cos theta is equal to adjacent divided by hypotenuse. And here we're going to use our trick to switch. So here it is. Switch. Which means now our adjacent is our unknown. It's not an unknown. So the hypotenuse is the unknown. So the hypotenuse is switched places with the cosine. The adjacent stays there. And now it's divided by cos theta. And we plug in our information. We have 12 divided by cos. 70. And then we do that, which is 12 divided by cos 70, 35.086. We're going to the nearest tenth. That guy there, one decimal place. 
and decimals. And our final answer here will be 35.1 units. So that's how we calculate that. Again, the trick is always very helpful. So don't be afraid to use that trick. Or if you need a study sheet, you can just put that rearrangement on your study sheet. And our final example for the hypotenuse. We're looking at something very specific. So we're going to determine the length x. Here is, I'm going to make this right here is x. This is going to be our hypotenuse. And here is our adjacent because it is right here from the angle theta. So our formula, type theta. Adjacent divided by hypotenuse, which, and now we have hypotenuse is equal to adjacent divided by cos theta. We log in our information, which means we have adjacent. Is 7.9 divided by cos 49. Into our calculator, 7.9 divided by cos 49. And that's 12.0416. We look at where we want to go near the tenth. So one decimal place. Therefore, the length of the water slide is twelve point zero meters. Finally, back to our key ideas. Study sheet worthy. And of course, our practice follows. Again, reminder to add the patient is equal to the hypotenuse times cos theta or a. I like to use A, so I don't know if for you. I just see two different. So this is our A here. And then hypotenuse is equal to adjacent divided by A. A. Thank you. Okay, so um, this is how we are solving cos and sine. Now you're on practice. Um, this is the end of the video, so hopefully all this makes sense, and if it doesn't, 2 o'clock today, I will be online for you to um, join me and um, ask any questions you feel you need to ask.